host of MTV2's Uncommon Sense, Charlemagne the God, right here on the program. Good to see you. What's up, Ms. Ivan? How are you? I am excited to have you here because I want to unpack your pivotal role. Okay. In one of hip hop's most heated rivalries. Okay. Okay. Now, keep me honest here, will you please, Charlemagne? As I explain this, because I do, as you know, keep my ear to the streets. I, you, you look like the type to be Don't in the hood. You know, because yeah. for the past couple of years, you've had a beef with Aubrey Graham. I wouldn't call it a beef, but I've been very critical of him. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been, uh, I've been very critical of him. Like you know how a sports guy would be critical of an athlete. Sure. You know how Skip Bayless was to LeBron all those years. <laughs> that you are to Drake, the yeah, Toronto exactly. native. Exactly. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, and, and this Drake fellow is beefing with. Um, Meek Mill yes. of Philadelphia. Absolutely. Okay. And so he's beefing with him, and this beef was recently turned up, correct? I like how you said that. Thank yeah. you. I said it in the most, you know, Falcon Crest type way. <laughs> when Meek Mill said Drake doesn't write his own raps, that caused Drake to diss Meek because he's the opening act for Nicki Minaj, who also happens to be his, his, his lady. Girlfriend. Yeah, Meek basically accused uh, uh, Drake of having performance enhancing drugs. He basically accused Drake <laughs> of being on steroids. Basically. Well, you know, he says that if, if you're open for your wife's tour, your career is not, as they say, on fleek. Well, it depends. If your wife is Beyonce or Nicki Minaj and you're okay. probably getting 50000 a show, it's not really too okay, bad. Okay, so I'm beginning to figure all this stuff out. Yeah. Okay, so Drake fires back at Meek Mill with a back-to-back -back freestyles in which he says, and I quote, you're going to make me step out of my flipping frame. You're going to make me buy bottles for Charlemagne. That's you. That's me. That, I mean, that was actually basically saying, you know, you're going to make me... I guess make peace with my enemies, because you know what they say: a uh, uh, enemy of, of my enemy is a friend of mine. Got it. So you know it was a lot of different rival rival radio stations of mine in New York. I guess siding with Meek, so to speak, and going against Drake. So he was like, you know, let me be friends with my enemy, because he's, you know. And there it is. He yeah. actually sent you bottles of champ, six bottles well, of Dom. That's a Photoshop picture. He actually sent. Okay. Six bottles of whatever you pronounce it, Dom. I can't. I can't afford it, so I don't. Can't pronounce well, it. Well, they give Dom. Perignon. And yeah. so let's let's be friends. Signed Aubrey Graham. He, he gave said. me a card that said "Let's be friends," which but is the, which is classic Drake. But the cover of the single that he he put out there was was Joe Carter. He puts oh, yeah, Joe yeah, Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, he's from Toronto. Right. So that was when Joe Carter hit a home run in the World Series against the Philadelphia Phillies. Like what? it's just so strategic. But he, that's a shot at me. Right? Yeah, yeah, man. He detailed it to the T. <laughs> he detailed it to the T. I mean, basically, Meek Mill is, is playing Uno with a chess player. Uh -huh. You know, you don't bring your cards to a chess game, bro. Charlemagne the God is here on the program. Don't go anywhere. Our radio audience joins me when we come back. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.